Hi Pisces, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what are their current feelings for you? So whoever it is that you are connecting to in love, whether it's someone that you are dating in a relationship with or just someone that you're interested in, think about that person right now and let's see what are their current feelings for you. I've already picked out the cards, so we can just go ahead and get started. First card we have for you here is the Three of Swords. Second card we have here is the Ten of Swords. Third card we have here is the Four of Swords. Last card we have here is the Three of Cups. Okay, so definitely not a pretty energy here, um, pretty heavy energy. I do, f I do feel like this person is heartbroken with the Three of Swords. We do have th Three of Cups also, so for some of you, this person is heartbroken because you left them for somebody else. There was a third party situation, there was somebody else who you were more interested in than, than in them and they feel heartbroken over this though I don't feel like this is true you know I don't feel like you didn't care about them I don't feel like you meant to hurt them you know it wasn't your intention to hurt them and you did really care about them but there was an ending here with the Ten of Swords after a heartbreak. Um, and the Four of Swords is healing, it's trying to heal. So for some of you, this person is trying to heal um, currently from this emotional pain this separation that happened between you two. For some of for others of you, they see you as someone who is heartbroken, who went through some sort of traumatic, difficult ending with the Ten of Swords. And here it's like you're, you're, you're not trying to get involved with somebody seriously in any type of serious relationship or serious commitment. You're more looking for company, for emotional comfort support, or yeah, for I was gonna say emotional company. Somebody who can soothe you, who can help you heal. So roles can be reversed here, so just take it as it resonates. This can be you, this could be them. Um, whichever side it is that you resonate with, just take it as, take that message. But yeah, it's like someone here doesn't want to have a serious relationship. They've, they've gone through too much trauma, too much heartbreak, too much disappointment, and it's like they really need um, time to heal and time to recover, and just time to, to pick up the pieces of their life and put them back together. But I feel like there's someone here wishes that they could have more with you. Someone wishes that things could be more serious. But with the Three of Cups, it's like, um, you know, it's like I'm not, I'm not looking for any serious commitment. I just want to be friends. I just want to go out and have fun and keep things light and keep things, you know, kind of superficial. 
Um, I'm not emotionally available to give any more than I'm giving. I'm too mentally conflicted and emotionally conflicted. Um, I just need someone to, who understands me, who will be there for me and who can accept me the way I am. who won't put expectations over me. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify these cards. Let's clarify the Three of Swords here. Spirit, please clarify the Three of Swords in regards to this person's current feelings for Pisces. Now again, Pisces, there is a second storyline here. So for some of you, this person does feel like there was a betrayal here. Um, like you betrayed them. Um, um, and like there was a, a situation of cheating here with a third party situation where there was secretly someone here involved with another person. They feel like you were involved with somebody else and you left them for somebody else. So take it as it resonates. That's another storyline here. So let's clarify again the Three of Swords, please. And we have... The Five of Swords. Yeah, this is separation here. A painful separation. Let's get one more card, Spirit, to clarify Three of Swords. And the Ten of Pentacles. So, for some of you, this could have been a marriage. Either you were married to this person or somebody was married and there was a, a painful separation. Yeah, there was a beautiful commitment here. Either there was a commitment or the potential for, for a commitment was here and um, it got broken with the Three of Swords. Okay, let's clarify the Ten of Swords here. Spirit, please clarify the Ten of Swords, please. In regards to this person's feelings for Pisces. Okay, first card we have here is, to clarify, the card of strength. Second card, please. The star. So it's like somebody was trying to hold it together here with the card of strength and star. Somebody was hoping that they could maybe save this situation um, prevent this ending from happening but I don't feel like they were successful it do, I do feel like it did end um, this, despite their efforts to try to save things and to try to hold it together it's like um, this ending happened no ma um, regardless and um, Again, I do feel more pain here, an energy of pain. 
Okay, let's clarify the Four of Swords now. What about this Four of Swords spirit? What is this about? Please clarify. We have here the card of temperance. One more card spirit to clarify four of swords. And we have here the ace of wands. Yeah, so like I said, the four of swords, it's like a card of healing. And with the temperance card, it's like this person needs time to heal. They need time to, like I said, with the Ace of Wands, they need time to pick up the pieces of, to pick up the broken pieces of their life and put it back together and find, find another reason here, another purpose to keep moving forward. Yeah, this is like a revival. Um, Ace of, uh, like, a uh, card of finding your passion again, finding your spark to that spark that keeps you moving forward and that keeps you pushing forward. They want a new beginning, but it's like it's going to take time for a new beginning to, to happen. It's a slow process here of healing in order to start over again. Okay, let's clarify now the Three of Cups. So please clarify the Three of Cups here in regards to this person's current feelings for Pisces. Let's clarify this last card. Let's see what time we have, 12. the ace of cups clarifying the three of cups what else do we have please clarify with another card spirit the three of cups and we have here the page of rods okay so this person does want to communicate they want to reach out to you um, Pisces Now, if they are the ones that had the third party situation, if they are the ones that were involved with somebody else, then we do have here the Ace of Cups saying that they, they realize now that they want you, that out of all, out of, out of these other options, that you were the true, that you were their true love. And maybe they missed out on you. Maybe they, you know, they betrayed you or they, they're the ones that created this heartbreak here. I do feel an energy of regret here for some of you. Because we do have here the star, so it's like I wish things would have happened differently between us. I wish things wouldn't have ended. So for some of you, this person is going to be reaching out to you. Um, I do feel like maybe not right away, because I do sense a little bit of time here with the temperance card. So. It's like they're going to let a little bit of time pass by before they reach out to you. Um, 
um, but when they do reach out to you, they they want to offer you this cup of love here. They don't want to be just friends with you. They want to be more than friends with you. And if they had a third party, they are leaving that other person in order to pursue you and be with you. Okay, Pisces, so <clears throat> that's everything I see here. Let me know if any of this resonated with you. If it did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, Pisces, thank you for watching my video. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, Pisces.